President George H.W. Bush's final farewell. Now his casket right now is lying in state at our nation's capital. And Fox 26's Caitlin Monty is live in Washington outside the Capitol and she's joined by a special guest who just saw that arrival ceremony. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, everyone. So among the people who are out here uh, getting ready to get their chance to pay their respects is someone who got the chance to do so just a couple minutes ago. We have Congressman-elect Dan Crenshaw here. Hi. Thank you for joining us. You found your way out. <laughs> yes. uh, so you were inside. Tell us a little bit about the ceremony, what it was like. Uh, it was really moving. It was an absolute honor to be there. Um, it was just so deferential to such a great man. So it's, you know, as you know, it's, it's right in the rotunda. Uh, the vice president was there. He, he um, offered some words. The speaker did as well. Um, and um, and uh, Majority Leader McConnell did it as well. And it was just it was just so great to see. The family was there as well. Uh, all the Texas delegation was up there right in front, um, as a, of course, honoring our fellow Texan. And um, it was just such an honor to be there. I, it's hard to express it in words. Um, he's, you know, George H.W. Bush was really an American hero in so many ways. Um, you know, from World War II on to uh, ambassador to the UN, to director of the CIA, to vice president under, you know, one of my favorite presidents, of course, and, and, uh, and then on to be a great president himself. I mean, I, I just can't imagine accomplishing more in a lifetime. And for you, with his military service, how much more meaningful is it to see someone who served at not just as president, but also served as such a young uh, aviator for our Navy? Right. It's, it's incredible. He's part of that greatest generation that that uh, that fought off some of the world's greatest evils, and you know he was part of that. And uh, you know they were telling those stories inside just now of how, as a young pilot, he hit his target and then bailed out right right into the Pacific and uh, waited for our friendly forces to come get him and uh, continued service after that. So it speaks to me in huge ways. You know this idea that we don't stop serving just because we ran into an obstacle, and that's 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 George H. W. Bush, uh, in a right there uh, embodying that model. And we heard a lot of people speaking during the ceremony about how he brought people together, uh, you know, in his passing, it's bringing people together. What was it like to be in that room as you're getting ready to represent and be part of this Congress to see so many people together during this yeah. era of politics? I, I think he is somebody who brings everyone together, Democrats, Republicans. We're all in there mourning a great statesman because we all recognize that he, he was a truly decent and, and humble statesman, and that, that's, that's what he was. He was a great president. He will be sorely missed. All right. I know you've got a lot of preparation still as you're getting ready to begin your uh, role in Congress. Things yeah. going well? Is getting used to your new home? It's, uh, we are. We are. It's a little colder here. Yeah. I've noticed that. I, I, you know, that's how I knew you guys were Texans. Yeah, <laughs> we were the ones shivering. Yeah. But he's got his Lucchese boots on, so that's how we spotted him while uh, we were out here. So <laughs> represent up here. They got to know where you're from. Absolutely, yeah. Congressman-elect. Thank you so much for coming thank out and you. joining us. And he's uh, among the many who today and over the next couple of days will be getting their chances here in Washington to pay their respects. The folks behind me eager to get a chance to say hello to him. It seems a lot of people recognizing him, even those who are not from Texas.